Okay, today we're going to look at a USB 3 hub. Um, it's, in, it's more of an industrial type, it's a USB 3. We want to use this to mount it in the observatory. Um, primarily because the gear that I had in there was just like desktop type stuff. Um, and I was starting to have a few problems in terms of just being able to place it where I needed to. Um, as well as the connectors was kind of loose. So I've ordered this uh, StarTech one. It cost me about $180 um, shipped um, from Amazon from in the US. So it doesn't come with uh, everything you need. You actually still have to power it. So There's a few bits and pieces in here, let's have a look. Alright, so we have the seven ports on the uplink. We have the input power, which can take from 7 to 24 volts. Uh, actually, 48 volts. Um, so it has mounting brackets so that we can you know, mount it on the side of the pier or something like that. And we have fairly decent length uh, USB A to B cable. So this would be the one cable that we run to the laptop and have that plugged in there so we only have the single cable to worry about. Um, that should get us, uh, in particular because of this is USB 3 we want to make sure that we're getting uh, the cameras uh, in particular which are USB 3 uh, to have their full speed. So. Um, there are some plugs here that we can use for so that's what we're going to use to plug in make our power uh, and that'll just run which way is that guy that way so we'll be running that in there um, so these, I'm not sure what those ones are for, if they're for the... Oh, they're for DIN rail clips, which I don't have, so... Um, we'll just have to work out a way to mount this on the, uh, on the pier. So, in terms of powering it, um, I have got an old laptop power supply. Uh, which uh, was from, I think it was an Acer laptop, that was my son's, that he, uh, the screen broke and was not worth repairing, so I've got quite a few of these. So this will output 19.6 volts, um, and I think it'll do about 3 amps, I think. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut off the uh, plug and just wire it up into here and we should be able to power this that way. So let's have a look and see how we go with this. So it's worth noting that although I still intend to create the uh, power supply for this, um, so the hub is becomes powered, uh, you can just plug it in and it'll still operate. So you can see it does power up and here in device manager, 
it's, it's come up with um, all of the um, ports being available. So what I'm going to do is still, I'm going to still make the, um, the cable, but I do want to see if the cameras um, function um, uh, simultaneously. Uh, obviously I've got quite a few devices that I'm going to have to plug in. So the uh, serial to um, USB converter for the dome, for the telescope, um, the two cameras. Um, there is a, a USB powered camera in the dome so I can monitor what's going on in there. Um, and a couple other USB devices that are just used for um, just general things in, in, the, uh, in the dome. So I'll probably end up using up most uh, of these. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'll go and get the cameras. Okay, so I've now plugged in both the ASI 290 planetary camera and the ASI 1600mm monochrome camera. Um, at the moment it's hooked up through to the 1600. Um, it's actually plugged into the telescope that's pointing at the wall. Um, so it's obviously completely saturated. Um, but we can see that it will run um, the camera and we're getting um, an image. You can see the histogram here. So that'll work. Um, now it's worth noting that uh, even though i am got the filter wheel plugged in uh, at this point, um, actually let's have a look and see if it, if it does work. Um, in theory, because I don't have the power plugged into um, the camera for the cooler, the, the power supply for that apparently runs the USB uh, for the filter wheel. So let's just have a look and see what happens if I try and rotate it. Well, it is indeed turning the filter wheel which I'm surprised. Uh, according to the documentation, it shouldn't run, uh, shouldn't run, be able to run that. So, um, don't really know. That's, uh, that's a new one. Uh, but it does recognize the filter wheel, obviously, because obviously we were able to change that. Um, we are getting images, um, and that one's working. And if we change over to the planetary camera, obviously that one is saturated also, uh, which you can see the histogram there. Um, we are getting, we are getting uh, a, an image. So we can run both cameras without actually adding power to it. So um, that's a bit surprising. Uh, I thought we would potentially need to, but admittedly I'm using the cables that um, that came with the uh, cameras, uh, so there's no additional length in any of these cables. Um, I probably will need to run one of the cables, uh, maybe, to the computer a little bit longer, which may affect the ability for it to, um, to run with just off the power from the laptop. Um, so, uh, I might just leave it that way for now and try the power, uh, modification later. So this is the, uh, laptop power supply, um, 19 volts, 3.2 amps. Um, all I did was cut off the end um, and uh, strip the wires back. There's just a positive and negative wire there. And I mean, that's as simple as it was. 
Okay. So. So I got 19.6 volts coming out of there. Uh, notionally supposed to be 19, but uh, that's going to work great for uh, the USB hub if we need power. So uh, obviously at the moment it's being powered by the um, the computer, uh, but if we need more juice for any of these devices that will plug in here. It's got it.